Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about theoretical physics between a 2D dimension and a 3D dimension. Thank you for joining me. Now, make sure you like and subscribe because I really appreciate it when you guys do. Thank you so much. Now, to get into the episode, I want to talk to you about physics. Physics is how the world works. Theoretical physics is things we think about in theory about the world and things we don't understand and we want to explain it in theory. This, is, this video is a theory, but theories are fun. That's how we learn and that's how we explore the universe around us. So let's get into the episode talking about a flat plane and a three-dimensional plane. And I'll explain it with the only format I know how, gaming. Now, let me explain to you a 2D, as in a second dimension. The 2D comes from two dimension, which means a two-dimensional character, which is usually a flat character, a flat surface, like the original, the original Bill Cipher. So, the character in a 2D plane could move in two dimensions, which is forward and back, is the first dimension, then up and down, is the second dimension. So those are the two dimensions that character or that entity could move on. So it could move up and over things and it could move under things. It could move under things and it can move back and forward. And it only, its own whole existence is in that dimension. And it's not aware of anything outside that dimension. It has no capability of understanding the third dimension. So, and this is where we enter the theoretical part of it, which is the fun part of it. If you imagine yourself as the character you see yourself walking in a straight line. But when you hit the end of the screen here, what happens, in a, and a lot of old games have this, when you walk to the end of the screen, instead of finding an end, you actually end up coming out the other side of the screen. So it was pretty normal. I think there was Mario games like this and Sonic games like this, where you just, could enter, keep walking, enter this side of the screen, and then the character will come out this side of the screen. And for the character's perspective, that's really weird. Because to the character's understanding, he was walking in a straight line. Yet somehow, he comes out the other side of the screen and ends up looking at the character he was facing once again and that is very confusing if you put yourself in the perspective of a 2d character which is gonna walk in a straight line and end up coming out of this side of the screen and going huh wait weren't you behind me so this is where we think outside the box now imagine your tv screen your tablet your phone is in the shape of a cylinder which is like uh the shape of a you know when you take a paper towel that's a cylinder shape imagine the middle of that cylinder is empty and the tv or the the screen you're looking at is in the shape of a paper towel roll it's the shape of a cylinder so you imagine that cylinder and now the character, even though the character thinks he's walking in a straight line, he's actually walking in a circle, but he is unaware of that happening because his perception is the perception of a 2D character. And what's crazy about that 
is that the character will never able will never be able to see the screen. They will never be aware or able to see from their reality inside this two-dimensional world that they're inside a, a screen. For example, the picture in the background at the edge of the screen, the character will never be aware in his whole life that that is there, that there's an edge. Why? Because every time that character reaches the edge, it loops back, making it a circle. So the character will never see the TV. And that's just one of the steps into this, this explanation. So, so far, we learn what a two-dimensional character is. And it is part of my theory to believe that we live in a flat dimension that is rounded. As in, Einstein and Newton had a very big debate in physics. And it was about the Earth being flat or the Earth being round. I believe both are true. Therefore, we live in a flat reality, but in a curved time space. And I'll explain what a 3D world is in a minute. But my theory begins with that notion, the notion that we do live in a flat world and we see and perceive everything as flat. But rounded time space makes everything 3D and round, which means when we reach the North Pole, for example, we loop back to the edge of the screen and come out in the other side once again. Therefore, we will never see what's in the other side of the screen because we will loop in a circle. Now let's explain how a three-dimensional character lives. Now let's talk about a 3D scenario. Let's talk about a character or an entity in a three-dimensional space. So, as we can see, we can move forward and back. That's one dimension. And we could move up and down. That's the second dimension. But in a three dimension, we could also move side to side in a third dimension. A dimension that doesn't exist in a two-dimensional world. So this would be the third dimension. So in a 2D world, you have something like... I didn't mean to do that. In a 2D world, you have something like a, a circle. Now, by adding a third dimension to it, you end up with a sphere or a ball. A ball, is that's the shape of Earth. Earth is a circle or a three-dimensional circle, which is a sphere or a ball. And as I was explaining, the way you take a, a flat and turn it into a geometric 3D shape is by adding a third dimension to it. That third dimension being depth. Now, if everything is like the screen you're looking at, technically means when you reach the edge of the screen, you loop back to the other side. And when the shape of everything is a ball because we live in a flat flat but curved time space so technically you will reach the north pole or the south pole and you will loop back in the other side of the screen without notice noticing it and therefore you will never be aware of the edge of the screen and that exists throughout the universe everything is round now to be specific in my theory 
the dimension we exist in is technically the dimension of the curvature. So you would have to measure the curvature of Earth and compare it to the curvature of the moon, the sun, and other round objects and compare the number of the curve. And if it all hits the same number, it actually means that's the number of our dimension. So let's say everything has, if we measure it, and this is just in theory for an example. If we measure the curve of everything and it ends up being 9912. So that means if everything measures, that's the curvature of our dimension, which means we're in dimension 9912. And that is how I'm explaining my theory through video games and what I believe with my imagination and my smarts. Now, have, do I know if anybody has come up with this theory before? I do not know that. Have I heard anybody talk about it or done research? No, I think I came up with this theory and I think the people that are talking online about flat earth and a round earth in my belief they're both right the earth is flat and round they're both right and it will actually follow uh logically the physics of both we finally reached the end of the video and that's my explanation of why the earth is flat and round and we live in a flat and round at the same time. As you can see, I'm a two-dimensional character walking around a 3D space right here. Our perceptions, our reality, are only the things we could perceive. And that's a very valuable lesson. But always remember, it's never wrong to think outside the box and think about the possibilities that are out there that we have yet to discover. And it all starts with an idea, a theory. And then we explore that theory and find out if it's true or not. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.